Now, NBC5 responds. You know, a bug bite can leave a whole lot more than just a, an itchy bump on your skin. Mosquitoes can actually spread disease like West Nile virus, and then ticks can transmit Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. And that is all very serious. So the best defense is a good offense, and that includes using insect repellent that really keep the pests away. Here's PJ Rendawa. Every year, Consumer Reports tests lotions, sprays, and wipes, including plant-based repellents, on real people using real mosquitoes to find the best insect repellents. A repellent fails if a mosquito bites twice in one five-minute session, or if there's one bite in each of two consecutive five-minute sessions. We currently test repellents against only mosquitoes, but in past years, we found that repellents that worked well against mosquitoes also tended to work well against ticks. The results? The most effective repellents against mosquitoes and ticks contain 25 to 30 percent DEET as their active ingredient. At the top of CR's ratings are Ben's Tick and Insect Repellent Wipes, Ben's Tick and Insect Repellent Wilderness Formula Pump, and 3M Ultrathon Insect Repellent 8. All excel in protection. If you're concerned about using DEET, consider this. Our ratings include over 50 repellents and more than 20 recommended ones, so it should be easy to find a way to beat the bugs that's right for you. CR found products with 30% oil of lemon eucalyptus as good alternatives, like Repel Lemon Eucalyptus Insect repellent pump. CR's ratings also have a few high scores that contain 20% picaridin, like Sawyer Premium Insect Repellent Pump. Correctly applying the repellent is just as important as the kind you use. Follow the directions on the label and use a thin coat on all exposed skin. You can also spray on top of your clothes, but don't apply under your clothing. PJ Randawa, NBC5 responds.